Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my Project Use It Up first update. I just wanted to mention I'm really feeling wintry today. Um, as you can tell, I'm wearing like a light shirt with snowflakes and rocking a dark lip. Um, let me know what you think of the lipstick. I don't generally wear these deep shades, um, but I was kind of feeling like in the winter mood today, so I just threw it on. Uh, so let me know what you think, if it works for me or not. Um, so let's get started. With my Project Use It Up, I've been using these items now for a month um, and have made some decent progress. So I just wanna share with you. Um, so my first item I have is a lipstick and it's by NYC and it's in the shade Cafe. And it's kind of this um, brown metallic-y shade. It kind of looks like a nude shade on me, to be honest, um, just maybe with a little bit of shine to it. Almost looks like you're wearing a gloss on top of a nude. Um, but yeah, this shade I find really easy to wear because it's new and it kind of goes with everything. So when I started, um, I was right up um, at this first line there and just putting the cap up against it to kind of measure where I'm at. You can now see um, I've gone, I've used up quite a bit. I've actually been making a point of wearing this almost every day, which is really hard for me because I like to switch up um, my lipstick quite a bit. Like I'm always reapplying and everything. And for me to use one color like religiously is like unheard of. Um, so I really have been making the effort to do that. And I'm quite happy with the progress I've made uh, this past month on this item. Um, so I'm hoping um, maybe within the next couple updates I can use this up. Maybe even possibly by next update, I'll try to um, continue to stick to this. Um, I have like straight off a few times and wore some other things with different outfits. But I have been trying to make a point of wearing this at least like three to four times a week, um, which is a lot for me. And I reply, reapply um, multiple times during the day and whatnot. Um, so that's that item. The next item I have, sorry if I'm looking down a lot, I'm just looking at my notepad to make sure I don't forget anything and what it, everything is called and everything. I have it all written down. Um, so the next item I have is um, an e.l.f. product and it's their e.l.f eyeshadow primer and um, here's what it looks like. When I started the project um, I was right up at this line here and I've used up from what I can tell I'm about down to here like I have to actually put this up to a light to be able to kind of see what's in there because um, as you can see it's not like transparent um, so I can kind of see like it's globby and whatnot but I'm guessing I'm around um, about that mark right there. Um, so we'll see. It seems to be working really well again. Um, it was super cheap and it's actually keeping my shadow on um, for the entire day at work. When I get home at night, my makeup looks like it maybe could use some retouching up. Like I do notice a little bit of creasing in uh, where my eyeshadow is, but um, honestly, if it makes it through a work day, I'm happy. So that's that item. Um, my next item is an eyebrow gel by e.l.f and it's just a regular eyebrow gel. Um, like I said, like in my intro video, I wasn't really sure how I was gonna mark this for you guys, but um, what I've done is, like I've used up this one side completely, and while using it, um, you can see it's kind of tinted um, from my like eyebrow products that I put on, um, but yeah, there's really nothing left in there. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't really get to the full use out of this. I've noticed the more I use this product, um, it's actually kind of annoying because when you put it back in there, if you're not super careful, it'll kind of ooze out. So I kind of lost a little bit of product um, coming out the sides. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue on. I haven't, as you can see, I haven't used this side at all. Um, it hasn't been tinted yet. It'll go brown like that one. Um, but yeah. I don't think this is going to take me that long to use. Hopefully all the product remains in it this time um, and nothing oozes out the sides. But yeah, it's a pretty decent eyebrow gel, um, super cheap. I think they increased it to $2. It used to be $1 each. Um, but it does a pretty decent job and I probably would love this more if I still was using an eyebrow pencil to do my eyebrows. Um, since I've switched over to pomade, I actually find that I don't really even need an eyebrow gel because pomade kind of works as like a two-in-one, like it's tinting and it kind of holds my eyebrows in place. Um, but yeah, if you're doing the powder, 
um, doing powder on your eyebrows or you're doing pencil eyebrows, this would actually work great to kind of hold them in place. Um, so the next item I have is body lotion and it's by uh, Yves Rocher, which is like a Canadian company I think. Um, and it's in the scent Cherry Bloom. And you can see when I started the project I was worth at this point. Um, and I'm now down to this point here. I've been using this pretty much every night religiously right before I go to bed. I'm just putting it on my hands, my legs after a bath or something. Um, and I really enjoy it. And I think I said in my first intro video that the smell had kind of gone off. But um, since I've started using it again, um, I guess I must have got under some layers or something, but it's starting to smell normal again. <laughs> so, um, like, it actually has a good scent, like I can smell the cherry blossom. So yeah, that's been a bit more enjoyable to use. Uh, but if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I just did a Bath & Body Works haul. So I'm very tempted to use some of those items, but I am trying to continue to put this body lotion in my regular regime so I get it used up. And there really isn't much more to go, so I'm hoping um, by next update I may be able to have this finished, um, or possibly the update after that, but I'm going to do my best to get through this last little bit that's in here. Um, so the next one I have is a perfume, and it's by Victoria's Secret, and it's um, in their scent, Bombshells in Bloom. And this one, um, I really like. Um, when I started the project, you can see it's right up at this line there, and it's just gone down slightly. For me, that's pretty good progress on a perfume. Um, this happens to be kind of a heavier scent, so it's not a scent I want to wear like every day. But um, I have been pretty much wearing this um, like every other day kind of thing, and uh, I've been really enjoying it. So yeah, I'm quite happy with the progress I've made on this um, this past month. All right, moving along. And the last item I have in this project is this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. It's a setting spray. And um, when I started the project, I was right up here. I'd hardly used any of it, as you can see. Um, I've gone down up to about that point right there. And um, I've been using this every day, like every day I do my makeup, which is like five out of seven days kind of thing. Um, I have been spraying this on my face and it really works. I find it definitely holds my makeup on all day without budging. Um, I really like it. I don't think it's going to be an issue for me to get through this. I'm hoping even by next update it'll be gone. But yeah, we'll see where I get with this. Um, I really enjoyed this product. Um, I probably repurchased because it's like the cheapest setting spray that I've found so far. Um, but if anybody else has any recommendations of really good setting sprays that I can get from the drugstore, please let me know because I'd love to know that, um, like what you guys love. And um, yeah, so I'm quite impressed with the progress I've made so far, um, like in the one update. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think it'll be a problem at all to get through this um, in too long. So. Yeah, that's all the items I have for now, and as soon as I use up any of these, I will throw something else in. I'll probably have another update in a month or so for you guys, so keep on the lookout for that. And thanks for hanging out with me today, and I hope you keep watching. Thanks, guys.